Hi everyone, this is Joseph from Force Tech Reviews, aka your favorite Cajun tech reviewer. Doing another video today. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to screenshot on your LG V40 ThinQ. But before I get into that video, check this out. Okay everyone, so you decide to pick up the LG V40 ThinQ. You're looking to see how you can screenshot or take a screenshot with it. I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video. There's actually three easy ways of doing so. So let's get this started. The first way I'm gonna show you, it's actually pretty traditional. So say you're on something that you wanna screenshot. You hold down the power button and the volume down. Bam, it takes the screenshot. Once you do that, you can see it here. Then you have the options to edit, share it, or delete it. I'm going to just go ahead and delete it for the purpose of this video. So that was number one. Pretty simple, traditional. Almost every Android phone, you can do it that way. Okay, the second way you can actually do it is pretty simple too, but it's a little bit more involved. It shows like a little touchpad assistant that pops up on your screen. Let me show you how you can get there in the easiest way that I know how to do it. So you want to go into your settings, accessibility, Right here in the middle, it says accessibility features shortcut. At the top, you can read it. If you triple tap the home button, you can quick access to one of these things here. The touch assistant is the one I use all the time. So you want to make sure you turn it on, touch assistant. And what you can do then is if you actually press the home button three times fast, it pops up this little guy right here. And if you click on it, it brings up the screen. The nice thing about this screen, you can write on it and it'll bring up different options. But the one you want thing is next. You hit screen capture. And what it does is take a screenshot. It took a screenshot of my homepage and you had the same options that you had before. You can edit it, you can share it or delete it. I'm going to go ahead and delete it again for the purpose of the video. If you want to get rid of that little man, you press it again three times, it goes away. So that was number two. It's actually pretty cool. If you want to leave that little option up, you can. But I always just have it available if I need it. Okay, so the third way is the best way to me. That's why I save it for last. It's actually more involved. You can write on stuff. You can actually do scroll capture, which is pretty cool. Let's get into the third and last step. So say you're in your page. You want to take a screenshot of this. All you do is bring down your notification panel. The first option that you have available is Capture Plus. Very easy. So say you're back here, it just goes down, bam. Now what that does, it brings up different options at the bottom. The two that we're gonna focus on is Standard and Extended. Standard is pretty simple. If you hit Standard, it takes a screenshot of what you're on. The cool part is though, you can actually write on this and say, hi. Or you can, you can do whatever you want, hi Forbes. Once you're done with it, you hit Save, you hit Gallery, and it saves it to the gallery. So if you go into your gallery, bam, there you go. There's your screenshot. That's actually pretty simple and easy. So go if you go back here and you scroll down, the second one is extended. And this one actually scrolls. So as you can tell at the top, it says capture, tap to stop it. So if I stop, tap it here, what it does is makes a screenshot. One bit of advice to scroll, you want to use two fingers and you can scroll your whole screenshot. Now, if you only use one finger and try to scroll, it will write on it. So don't do that. You can actually erase it if you want to. So if you want to scroll and say you want to circle this, you can do that. You can say hi again. So that's the easy way. Scroll in. Once you scroll, once you finish, gallery again. Save it. There you go. And then you can share it if you want to. But that was the three ways that you can actually screenshot on your LG V40. If you learned something today, hit that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so for more coverage on the LG V40 ThinQ. And until next time, peace. I'm out of here. Y'all have a great day now.